Stan Jabalisco here to talk a little bit uh, about the Gaia hypothesis, uh, first named and proposed by scientist James Lovelock, born in 1919. In England, he's, well, he's, he's in England, you can tell by his accent, probably a lot of the videos suggested below this one we'll have interviews with James Lovelock and uh, the 96 year old guy is still alive <laughs> and he has some very clear ideas about what Gaia implies for humanity and I think that uh, I, I recommend that you watch as many of these interviews as you possibly can to get an idea of who James Lovelock is and what his theory is about and what he recommends humanity ought to do in order to survive on this earth as our population continues to increase beyond the earth's capacity to, to contain it, to hold it, to support it. He says, among other things in one of his videos, that the ideal world population would be one billion people. Uh, and that's bound to cause an immediate reaction because the current population is closer to six or seven billion people and once somebody says there's, we have too many people on earth, we've got to reduce the numbers, everybody starts screaming how are you going to do that in a humane way? What are you going to do? Are you going to start killing people? Are you going to start selecting who should live and who should die? What are you going to do? And uh, he doesn't really specify that I can see in any of his interviews, but he does warn of one very interesting phenomenon that relates to a theory called chaos theory. If you've ever read the book Chaos by James Glick, you know what chaos theory is and uh, his claim as far as I'm able to determine and interpret is that the ecosystem of our planet Earth is being driven closer and closer to a state of chaos that as humanity contributes to the imbalance of the climate on Earth primarily by what he calls global heating uh, he brings us to a state of greater and greater instability. And we've seen that reflected, I believe, in recent years and in, in dramatically different weather from winter to winter and summer to summer. Uh, a variability in the weather that will increase as you drive this ecosystem harder and harder towards a state of chaos and when it finally breaks into chaos if it does these fluctuations will become wild unpredictable and uncontrollable and we have no real way of knowing what they might be but he says um, that when it happens if it happens because and he seems to blame human activity largely for this if the system breaks into chaos, he says, it will be a sudden, a very sudden indeed, he says. It will happen very suddenly indeed, implying that uh, a climate disaster awaits us unless we do something to control our behavior. We're going to have to get used to living in a much diminished world, he said. Well, rather than put words in his mouth, I'll just let you watch the interviews and watch as many of them as you can. He's a very interesting fellow and very controversial fellow in some of the things that he says. And sometimes um, I've found that he even appears to contradict himself. But all that aside, James Lovelock, the originator of the Gaia hypothesis, a scientist an independent scientist, built his own laboratory and 
did his own research, built his own gadgets, and came to his own conclusions. He doesn't paint a pretty picture of what will happen, but he doesn't specify what will happen either, because he doesn't know. I don't think anybody really knows. Stangibalisco signing off. Fingers crossed. Maybe nothing will happen. But how, how is that possible? How, six, seven, eight, ten, twenty. How many billions of people can the Earth support before something really bad happens? You tell me. <laughs> Stan Gibalisco signing off. Until next time, so long.